Hello guys, Jamer here, bringing you the second episode of my career with MK Dons on Football Manager 2011. Now, you may be thinking back to the end of the first episode, where you saw that the next game was away to Kettering. And obviously that isn't the case now, because our next game is at home to Middlesbrough in two days' time. Now, the reason for that is because I played two games in before the second episode, um, purely because I didn't want to end up starting the season officially on like the 8th or 9th episode and plus I didn't particularly want you guys to be bored of pre-season friendly so I just played some while not recording. Now, so just so you know, I played Kettering and Tamworth, the two away games. Got a 2-0 victory and a 3-2 victory. Tamworth looked at quite a good game to be honest. Um, well actually I think both games were good, just two good results and obviously we had a 2-1 victory over our own reserves the last episode so today obviously we're going to have Middlesbrough and also what I want you to do guys and I'll probably repeat this at the end of the episode anyway but what I want you to do is obviously we'll have Middlesbrough today I want you to put a comment below saying which of the last five pre which of the last four preseason friendly games you want me to put into episodes so you've got the choice of Aston Villa, Lincoln, Chelsea and Stoke so yeah, we've obviously got we've got picked up a couple more injuries across the squad as well. Um, Adam Chickson and Jordan Brown they picked up injuries um, during between the Kettering and Tamworth games, so they're out and they're injured now for a few weeks. I've skipped on home and I'm already at home. I recently, just now I had an email from. I'll just let me email come through. It was an invitation invitation to the England trial day. I think I'm gonna just be, I'm gonna accept it and see attend it rather and see what that's about. Um I don't know when that's gonna occur. But I think we'll be playing the second game. Playing the second game, playing the game against Jimbo Destroyer. And um now. Now as you can see on the squad now, all the players seem to be a bit, a bit tired. Nothing I can really do about that because we've got the squad players who are injured and everything else. Might have to make some minor changes anyway. Since we've got Luke Chadwick, who's fifty-seven percent, bring him in for uh, Jamal Johnson. I think Luke Chadwick's there just to give him a bit more of a. I think that will do to us because obviously the two are ninety five percent of two goalkeepers. So please continue on to the start of our next game. It's been a good start to pre season so far. Obviously Middlesbrough, we don't know what's going to happen there. But three games we've played so far: the game against the reserves, Kettering and Tamworth. They've been pretty good um, games as we've won them. I just hope that we can continue that run throughout the rest of the pre season and carry it on into the league games where we start the season officially against Warsaw. We've got 12 new emails, good one. Um, just don't need to worry about money then. Bristol City, it's a bid for Chadwick. Well he's an alright player, to be honest, I don't know what, how, well we'll see if they make an offer first, and then we'll take it from there I think, and I didn't want to go on to him at all. I wanted to view the email. Kina said his work permit granted. So he can move to Chelsea. It's always, it's always the same transfers. Always. Pina always seems to go to Chelsea. Right. So now we're going to go to the match preview. Don't need to worry about any of that. Well, uh, four players out. Middlesbrough have got five, so we're in sort of like the same boat. Submit. I think we've only got four subs. Um, I think I might have the sound on. To see how loud it is first. If you want me to. Well, I don't know how loud it is, but we'll see. Um, if you want me to... Oh no, it isn't that big yet. 
match analysis. Push your screen instructions. I'm just going to stick, I don't know why, I'm just going to stick some instructions. Type marking always, close game down always. Tackling is going to be, just go normal because if you want any bookings. You want to show them onto their weaker foot. Um, I reckon I want to wish them luck, to be honest. Right. Now, as you can hear, you've got the cheering of the fans. If you want me to turn that off next episode, guys, then I will. And then, by all means, I'll keep it on if necessary, if you want me to. So, we've got, we're all, we've got a good start. Now, we've, we've, we're on the attack. Goes out to the corner. Um, so, we've just got who's taking, who's taking the corner. Yeah, we've got Peter Levin who's taking the corner. It's not a bad cross. Could have done a bit better there, but you know, got to try and play him out a bit. Middlesbrough, we've got an average side, really. We've got an oh, offside, and it will add with a forward, was it? Fair enough. I know it's a bit early, but it's a bit early. Just so it's going to set defensive strategy. We've just got a penalty. Good start. Great start. Get a to uh, take the lead now. After receiving, or well, getting a penalty awarded to us. Which is good. Tomorrow is to make tomorrow. Jermaine is to take it and it's over on having the lead. A shocking lead. We're just going down behind. We have some head-ons. Um, that's the keeper. I must say, he, he was unlucky there. If he'd moved a bit earlier, we could save it, but obviously he didn't, and it's one more of the head-ons. So. You know. so, as always, guys, I show the key highlights of the gameplay. And I, that will be shown all the time. Every game that you see in these episodes will be key highlights. It's 2-0, oh yes, that's, that's good, that was, that was good, that was really good. Pete Dwayne Easter, the cross into Angelo Balanza, and then puts two, us 2-0 two up. I never really expected us to go 2-0 up in under 20 minutes, and that's missed the replay of it. I think Balanza got a volley on it, to be honest. Yeah, he did, I think, yeah. So, that's good. 2-0 up, and it's Middlesbrough. I mean, come on, Middlesbrough. You really wouldn't think we'd sort of go down that, go up that quickly. Go up to what would go one and down early on. We'd like we go down first instead of all going two nil down, but you know. Good start to the team, good start to the match. Just hope we can continue it into the four pre-season friendlies that we've got afterwards. Yellow. Yellow card, I think. Okay. Good shot from middle for that. Is that, was, that was a brilliant goal as that went in, I must say. Coming up to the half hour mark now in the game. We're, we're, we're tuning up. Crew, well, we're pretty well, we are cruising, I suppose. We want to call it that. We were lucky, we were lucky, but we were lucky, so, yeah, I'm pleased with 2-0 up. If we can keep this until half time, that'd be brilliant. And obviously, it's brilliant, even more better if we can keep this as the final score. After 90 minutes. Oh, Powell, that must have been the yellow card that was uh, awarded a minute ago that we saw on the bottom part of the screen, where we've got the possession. Rowing from the spot onto Miller, Barker, Robson, down to Boyd, O'Hanlon on the yellow card as well, with a tackle there, and that's going to go up, putting a goal back, through Zabarez, I think, or something like that, I don't know how to pronounce that one, but yeah, they've got a goal back, I didn't particularly want to score, but obviously they did. And, um, we're still winning, which is good. 
And I must say that was a pretty good shot though. That was a very good shot. Great goal as well. Not long now to half time. So Hoyt, we've got a yellow card now. That was the uh the one that he did the penalty. Or awarded it to us rather. He he caused it. Got one minute of added time, it's now half time, perfect. Brilliant start to the game. Morale is superb personally. Three players on the yellow card, Dean Livingston, Daniel Powell and Sean O'Hanlon. It's going to bring Haman off, um, purely because uh, well, obviously there's an energy level. Now, the two players that are on 96% on their condition, like they, are, they are two keepers. I've got, I think they're, I think Gleeson and Chadwick, they're two midfielders. Um, so, yeah. Masking assistant, I would have said that as well. I would have said please, but I don't know, I don't know why I asked ask the assistant, but yeah, I did. So, let's get on with the second half. Robson is in for Middlesbrough. He was the, that would have been the equalising goal for Middlesbrough. That went in. I think that would have been a, a, good, a good piece of attacking play from Middlesbrough if that did. Go in the works good anyway, but you know what I mean. Cut the one twos there. Bennett. Put Robson on to. Paula, Boyd, Gumby with the challenge there, Boyd, with the shot, goes wide for a goal kick. All instructions, I still got them to say, haven't I? Yeah, might change them in a little while. Hey, Arthur, Bennett. Running down the wing, pass the defence of NK. Not good. Martin with the save from the header of Boyd. 